welcome back for the next page and what shall we do on this page? Well, let's grab a chair and grab a cup of tea and let's join me. Um, I want to do something that a very very long time ago that I did that and let's see I want something um, that looks like a photo frame right away but this opens up and well you can open it up and open it up and open it up so there is no difficult way <laughs> than just fold a A4 size again the size is what I use 21 by 29 and a half or an inch is 814 by 11 5 of an 8 inch that is the size I use always with my A4 piece of papers so you're gonna fold this in half half and again and a half so that is easy easy going and then we cut one piece loose and yeah then we have one folded in one folded back and one to the front that is what i'm gonna use yes oh yeah now um you can Shall I do that? Uh, you know me, I always want to do something extra to it. You can make a pocket out of this too, if you like. You can. Yeah, you know me, I always like that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this down. And I'm not going to use a very thin layer. No, we don't need a big pocket. But I want to save a bit space uh, for the back. Just to put something nice in here. And that is what I'm just going to glue it on. Yes, nothing more, nothing less. Just glue it on. And the decoration we can do when this is on that saves paper okay um yeah let's open this up open open and i'm just going to burnish this down okay so now we can decorate yay how fun is that <laughs> so easy Okay, so this flips back, this flips over, and this flips back right here. And we have a little pocket just to add a nice little thing in here. A secret thing with a little tap or something, but always fun. Okay, so for the closure, because we want this to be closed, I think... Um, yeah, we can make a swing tab right here or two swing tabs here. That is fun too. What do you think? Two, two nice circle ones or something. Something in that spirit. I don't know just yet. I'm gonna see. Perhaps, perhaps a nice piece with this one. Hmm, that's nice too. I think I'm gonna do that. So, yeah, I'm just going to see what kind of a swing tab we are going to make. So, okay, let's let's think just for a second. Okay, what I am going to do is um, I cut eight squares, three thick. That is what I am going to apply on a piece of chipboard. And of course I'm going to use two. I don't know if that is needed, but I think it's also a nice decorative 
connecting when we use two. Okay, so that is the first thing. I'm gonna attach this to the chipboard and then I'm gonna cut it out. Let's say this is the middle. Yes, and this is the middle. Then I'm gonna cut from the corner here to that middle. And this side, same thing. Yes, like that. Okay, same here. From corner to that mark. Alright, so let's smooch the edges. That's nice. when this attached nicely yeah that's cool and this fits nicely between this here so that is perfect so yeah where do we want this well I want this let's say a bit higher and then this needs to be fit Cool. I'm gonna make a nice little hole in here because this is chipboard nicely in the middle of this piece fits perfectly here we go yes okay now of course we need to be first making some papers on the back so we can attach these okay Cool. So leave this away for just a second and let's decorate first this one up and up. Yes, that is what I'm gonna do first. Alright, cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this nice image on front of this so it will be the eye catcher. So that is the first thing I'm gonna do, and then from there on, I will continuing. So I had to trim this down just a little bit, but for the rest I will leave it just like that. Nothing more. It's just perfect how it is already. Okay, so yeah, so I like, of course, having photo mats on the inside, and you even can leave this plain because you are going to put some pictures in it. But I will not leave black uh, background, so I'm gonna use some of that white. And I'm not going to make a border around this piece because I think it's going to be busy enough with that swing tab and everything. So I just want to make a nice photo mat. At least, at least at one side. Perhaps on the top 
I will make a nice decoration page. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Not making too much of white photo mats. That's also not what I like too much. It needs to be settled down with just a little, a little uh, decoration. So yeah, how can we make this noise? Well, you know me, I always like to see if I have something left. And I see right away that I have this piece left. So why not, oh, just a little shorter. Why not use it? You can make this as a tuck spot, so that is cool. Let's grab that. that music piece and cut it down just use what you have and, and also a great tip just see what you have in your stash and see what may be perfect fits and I do like these music backgrounds. It settled down and oh, not upside down. Then, yeah, that was no. <laughs> okay, need another line right here. Not put this upside down. All right, so this is the background, and I'm just going to add. on three sides only some glue so you still can use that as a pocket or put just a photo in and you can take that out or whatever you're gonna feel like it okay not too close to the fold line you still want this to be closed that's that. So we still have a nice little tuck spot where you still can add, if you like, something like an ATC card or anything what you want to put in there. All right, so that's cool. Then we go to, yeah, you can leave this open, but let's close this. Then we go to this side and here I like what else? What else? What else do I like? Well, this fits nice, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna cut this in half. And then I think again, I like to make a nice tuck spot for place your photo underneath. What do you think? I think that's nice. Um, I do have... Oh, that fits just. Okay, let's use this. Let's use this. I still have it, so use it. I'm gonna place this in the middle. This is in the middle. <laughs> okay, let's smooth the edges for this one. I did not do that with that. This is so thin paper. Let's okay, so yes, this fits just fine. Perfect. see that the left one is oh I just switch it thing okay. this one needs to cut down just a little so it's even I don't want 
the left side. All right, so only glue on three sides, so you still have that little tuck spot. That's what I like. Creating, oops, see daisy. Creating a nice little tuck spot. Same one here. Again, you still can add a nice little picture on the left or on this side, or whatever you like, or one that fits just like this. So yeah, okay, that's cool. Use what you have. Okay, and then I still have this piece. And yeah, I can use this one, but I like it quiet. And let's make, and this fits perfectly too, so we use it. And let's decorate, oh, we still have this piece right here. Okay, let's first glue the green one in. Frame, but I still like a tuck spot. Just a simple one. Yes. Let's use this one. So again, I'm only gluing this on three sides, and I'm just apply this, and again, you can use this for a nice little photo to tuck in. I love that, I know. <laughs> uh. Alright, so, are we done? Yes, I, oh no, no, it's still open, so one more time, oh my gosh. <laughs> So much to do. Let's see, what can we do about this one? Um, yeah, again, a photo mat will do, will do perfect. So let's make a nice frame. decoration do I like on top? Mm -mm -mm. I would like to have small parts. I don't know why but I do love that. So what I'm going to do is first of all I'm gonna cut one piece that fits as a full cover. Thank you. 
then I'm gonna split this first in two. Then I can decide, well two is also nice, let's use two. Or do we want it in four? Four little pieces. Yeah, you know I like that. <laughs> so yeah, you can decide if you want this in, in, in a full sheet or a um, or in four sections. That's totally up to you. I'm going to cut this one down. So now I have four parts which will fit if I did it correctly nicely with a nice little edge all the way around. See that worked perfectly. That is how I like to do this yes this fits nice now you can decide if you like um, adding four white ones or if you have a piece that fits this one like this you can use it of course you can use that So you have one decorative piece, um, this do not fit and this one also not. Ooh, then I have to cut a full piece, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I do have this a lot. A lot, yeah, a lot, a lot, but more than the other ones. So I can use this one. It's just that I see how much I have. How much paper I have. So I choose the one where I have plenty of. Oops. Okay, now. Let's smooch the design paper. And let's start. Again, I'm going to use a glue that is not quick dry. I'm just starting one here. Oh no falling down. Let me pick it up. There we go. Oh. Here it goes. First lay this down and then I can move around a little if needed. And mostly that is needed by me, but no worries, you can move around if that is needed. That's what I like. All the glue on my fingers. <laughs> you don't have to throw those away, you always can use them. Okay, is the glue dry? I think it is. Yes, so I think now we are done. See, now this is 
pretty thick already, so this moves up with a little tuck spot. This opens down and this opens. Yes, like that. All right, so now we come to the part that I'm gonna see which um, because this needs to go up a little more also. So that is why I decorate this first. Okay, so let's see what do we like. Um, well, it's a new page on this side, so let's see which color. Okay, I decided to go for wet. And um, now let's first start with the left one. Okay, so now first I'm gonna see where I want my sewing tab. I think this is a nice place. Now first see if this fits. Okay, so now I can move this just a little in the middle. So this, if I move this up, then it, it's nice in the middle. Yep, so I make that mark. Now check, see, it still is nice closure. So I want this right here. Now the next thing is, when this is on, you will see that this is pretty thick already. So I want some of these little chipboard under. Now I don't know if one is enough and otherwise I'm just going to go for two. I think two is too much. I think one is needed. Alright, so I'm just going to place a little blad in the hole. Yep, and then I'm going to use that little chipboard piece. Stick it in, so you have a little space. Oops, same as we did on that other one. I'm gonna place it in. I'm not going to apply this just yet. Well, let's close this. We always can open this anytime we want. But first, test it out if this is good. So. Okay, now we have that space. Yep, I like this. So now I can attach it. Oh, yes, it is. So that little piece of chipboard is needed when your paper, what is going to be closed, is a little thicker. Otherwise, you have this bumping up way too high. And that is not what we want. So yeah, this is good, 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 good. Let's burnish it down. Cool, yep. Let's do the other one, same. Just hold it down. Try to be the same height. And I'm just going to watch. I'm gonna make this star the same height. Then I'm going to use my picker and I'm just going to see if I am in the middle and this is the middle. Okay, let's punch a hole, take a boat, nope, not forgetting your swing top, push it in, oh, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget your extra piece and just open these up and close it down that's it check if you are good to go it's not bumping in this paper oh wait just a second i hope it does not interfere this fingers crossed for that Sometimes I do things and then when it's done, then sometimes it does not work. <laughs> so fingers crossed that this does the job. Okay. 
So at the end, this looks like this. And I absolutely love how this turns out. That is cool. But, and of course, I'm gonna decorate this with the same red one. So it's a nice catch, eye catcher. So, let me see. When you open this up, this opens up. This open, oh yeah, that works just fine. There's no trouble at all. Yes, it is cool. Okay, place this down back. Yes, I like that. And it needs to be not too tight. I don't like that. You need to, otherwise you have to lift it up and anything. And I, I like this how it is. Cool. All right, I'm gonna put some decoration paper, same one as this one on the bottom and then I'll come back to you and see what else can we make. Okay, and then the end result looks like this. Swaps up and up and I just made just for example a little pocket right here. I put just for example a little something in here, just a little in here, tuck spot here. Nice thing here and I added these little leftover pieces in the corners. So yeah, that is it guys, pretty simple actually, but I love it, love it, okay, so we have done three pages, oh this is the back, yes, 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 three pages are done, 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 cool, 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 all right. So let's make another one. Awesome. Okay, let's make another page and let's grab another A4. Grabbing my scoreboard. Same thing. Four and a half inch. Add a paper that is 21 by 29 and a half, 8 one fourth by 11 five of an eight inch. Can't say that enough, but for those who missed that step, and then oh wait, just fold it first. So we're going to make a tunnel again. Same base pages. And then we glue this down. There we go. Okay, tunnel is born. Yep. Okay, let's see what we can do on here. Mm, okay, I just like to make one simple one with a pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a simple one with a pocket. Mm, not exactly. No, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to make first a pocket. Um, this is a nice size, I think. Just use your leftovers, but I will give you the measurements. Uh, the depth is 3 one fourth. Just use what you have, but you will have some leftover piece. Okay, I'm gonna make a pocket first. Let's say sideways. Let's do a little squeezy. I'm gonna make a mark. Let's make another fold line. Cut it shorter. Here we go. Okay. That's my pocket. Cool. Alright, so let's attach that pocket Not the inside Not the inside okay. The 
bottom and let's glue it down. You know me, I always like to add something more on it. So um, I do not have any leftover pieces, so I need to grab a new one. I like a, what shall we do? Flip to the right. I always like that, better than an up. Yes, I'm gonna make flip to the right. So that means that I am going to make this the same size. Well, the same size means for me <laughs> just a little millimeter smaller than the actually one. Okay, let's make a flippity flop, guys, a half inch. Let's fold it. And let's see, what do we have then? Now, let's say I am going to glue this down right here. Now we have that pocket. Well, you don't see that, but we have that pocket right there. So, now I can show you better. So, assume that we are going to glue this down. I want to make a an extra fold line because I can cut this down but I don't, don't like that so I'm going to make a fold line and I'm going to make the sure that this page is just a little smaller so it fits and I'm gonna fold this to the top so now what we have is a page which fits perfectly against this pocket. It's not the meaning that it's going to be over it. Nope, it isn't. So this fits just about. And then this I'm going to make just an extra pocket. Ah, uh, okay. We're just going to do that. We just do that. Okay. So, nice against that pocket, and then I'm just going to apply this right here. Here we are. So, I am going to make this pocket close when I have my background. Oh my gosh, I'm just eight, sorry. <laughs> um, when I have make my background then I'm gonna close this pocket so we always can add a nice little tag in here or a photo mat or something like that then this flips to the right and then of course we have a pocket here and this all closes down with anything what you have now for now I'm just going to show you if I like to use here is where I messed up a bit with that glue. Let's see, that's oh yeah, here it is. So this is the closure or anything what we are going to use, but this will hold everything down. So yes, okay, so let's grab some design paper. <laughs> okay, so let's join me and do some decoration. I'm gonna start with the background. And for the background, I am going to use again that awful sticker on this piece. So I'm just going to see, this is a little lower. Well, I'm just going to cut off this piece right away. So these papers are perfect to match with some black and white. That is... Just how I love it to ease it down the papers. Papers are a bit busy. So that is what I love. But you can use any cardstock you like, of course. Be personal and give 
give it uh, your project your own um, your own taste of colors I like black and white with white colors so that is what I'm gonna use now I'm gonna close this pocket like I just told you and now I do like to have yeah I absolutely love this border so I am gonna use that again And yeah, the background is pure and simple, so you always can use that too. But for now, I like to use these strips. Now, I know there are other pages in this collection, but I do not own them all. But you can match it all. It fits perfectly to each other. Now for the background, which color do I want? The left side, I'm washing it, the left side is pretty wet. So I am not going to use, I'm trying not to use any red color. Um, I do like yellow. So Oh, blue we did not use that much and this is the only blue sheet I have so I like you like yellow better okay just I'm going to use yellow And glue it down. Hey, our scrap queen is coming. Hi! What do you add? Pause. Pause. Okay, he needs to show me his wound on his leg. And it looks amazing how fast that heals. But yeah. Young age, do heal fast. Okay, let's continue. So, I have completed the pocket. And I already had made that background. And now we're continuing with this pocket. So, yeah, I do like a bit the same background. Keeping it simple. Oh yeah, I do have this one too. Um, yeah, I was talking to myself. I do have another one from that thinner piece, and I know I like using. Um, wait just a second. Do I need it? Well, let's make it this way I'm just going to use it to use what you have and this is terrible to see I'm gonna try no, this is absolutely terrible to see wait just a second otherwise I'm gonna mess it up and I don't want that I don't want to mess this up I'll make a black mark. Oh yeah, that is way better. Okay, it's getting a little hot on here. Upstairs. Okay, let's make this a little deeper. So this slides in the pocket. And then we 
can place this thick and a little. This is better. This is better. Yeah, and perhaps you absolutely do not like these papers with this collection, but I do. I think it gives a nice vintage touch to it. And it's just for the background, so, so yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, so now I go, I'm just going to close this down so I want to match this. So I'm just going to cut this down. I still have this little strip. And don't throw any of these pieces away. We can use it. And I already did. Um, um, I did, yeah, a new, I saw, how can I explain that? Ah. <laughs> okay, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube and Pinterest and Facebook. Facebook is amazing for doing some inspiration on, but also Instagram. Instagram is also a very good um, inspiration um, place. And I saw uh, something passing by and I thought, oh yeah, that is totally me. <laughs> and I, just, I want you to just give a little sneak peek what I did. Let me see. Oh yeah, this one. Look how cute this is. This is amazing. I saw this on Instagram and I thought, yeah, I need to try this with my um, habit of using all these leftovers pieces. So I did it once and I wanted to do on this piece too, but I want to do that together with you. We'll save that for later. <laughs> okay, so which color do we want on the bottom? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's say, let's grab this beside. What do you think about green? I think, yes. Green is a good choice of using this piece. So I'm just going to add here a mark and right here. Cut it down. Bottom, boom, boom. Bottom. <laughs> let's smooch the edges and let's glue it on bye bye Humpty Dumpty I actually feel it's a little scary man but that's just me I don't think this is good for children So this is how it looks when you first see the page. Yeah, cool. I like that. That is good, 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 good. Now, um, you can make anything in here with a large big tag or anything, but I think this one is also nice to put in here. But yeah, I don't know if I if I like it or I don't like it. I don't know. You can add a little envelope in here if you like. But I don't know, but you get the picture. So this will close everything down. This piece. And of course we need to add something in here so it's a little sturdier. But I like it. And then you open this up, photo mat here. And of course you can put something in the back here too and then add something like this that's always possible that's possible see that's possible that's possible too it's possible 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 <laughs> okay let's go quickly to the back <laughs>